all right guys welcome back to another video it's your boy the crazy gamer we are back at it again boy i'm excited because i finally got my hands on this awesome rpg game by the goes by the name of jujitsu kaisen phantom parade it's been out for almost a year in japan it was released on november 23rd the reason why i'm doing this video because this game is getting close to global release which is next month the 7th of november and i want to get you guys prepared for the global version with this particular video that i'm about to do with you guys right here so bear with me and first of all most importantly please don't forget to smash that like button drop a comment in the comment section below subscribe to the channel if you are having and let's get down to the bottom of this video man and what you're looking on is a big big japanese awesome game and you're looking at the screen like what the heck is going on here man don't worry guys i got you covered man you know how you, you know how your boy does you know how x game is asylum does so we got you covered so here we go this is this is uh an rpg style game that is awesome 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 yes i'm playing the japanese version if you guys want to know how i did this i'll do another video separately but let's get right down to this because this is a beginner's guide for everybody who's starting off and don't know nothing about the game or want to get on the game so you got this big ass menu and you got you got the presence right here whatever you receive blah 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 you're gonna get it here you're gonna get a lot of bunch of stuff especially this card for free which is absolutely awesome we got two of them so you're gonna get that for free when you download the game and then you got the missions right here whatever missions that you do you keep track of it if you're done some you will collect it with this button right here when you are ready to collect them and that's very simple so far i'm just going to cover the basics by the way i'm not going to dive into it because if i do this game this video is going to be sorry like freaking an hour long or more so we're going to go to school walk school walk is this one right here this this is a uh, this is like a little size something that you do i'll i'll, I'll play it with you guys so I think we can't play it right now. We just got to keep it going. But I'm like I said, I'm going one by one. And we're going to go to the next one, which is this icon right here. This is, this is practically like the gacha system where you can buy stuff, you know, where you want to acquire them with money, with income. Well, actually, you know, for the pay to win aspect of the game, you go there. So we're not going to go down. These are things that you could buy, by the way. And if you guys are looking to buy and you get like a little like a little exclamation point right here at the plus sign, all you got to do is put your age. It will give you some examples there of your age. And then it will take you to the store if you guys want to buy anything. You see, it's Japanese money, yen. So we're not going to buy anything because you guys know me. You know X Game is Asylum. And you guys know that I am a free-to-play player every time i go at it in this game and then you got this little icon right here which is gonna go by this is like the battle pass if you guys want to unlock the full battle pass you go right ahead the premium one there's the price a thousand yens i don't know how much is that in uh american money so it is what it is you collect make sure go back okay nice 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 and we keep it moving man like i said i'm covering the bases and then you got the home button, which is this one. You got the gotcha, which is this right here. Basically, where you're going to do your little pulls. You know, you're going to go those SSR, those awesome. And then you got this little cubes that I don't know what are the names. You got the free ones, and then you got the ones that you got to spend. Like like I said, the pay to win aspect of this game is right there. And then you got we got 10,000 of the regular cubes. Like I said, I don't know the name of this, so... Bear with me, man. This is all Japanese. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a little confusing. And you got all the this, these are all the banners, all the banners. And like I like and I want to get out of uh, this quickly out of the way since we're talking about the gacha system. Keep in mind that you get a big gacha ticket to summon one SSR guarantee, and you can roll as many rolls as you like until you get the character that you want. It might. In my case, I was looking for not other than Gojo, so I got him, you know? I, I just got him. And then you got the character's rank right here. 
This is basically... Okay, let me see. Yeah, you got the character's rank. And all of that stuff. I got Sam covering the basics. These are stuff that you need to do in order to rank up characters and stuff like that. And we're going to go to the this right here. It's like the story. We're right here, the first story. We could just play it over again if you want to play it. The quest, I should say, if you want to repeat it, you click on it, do it again, and then you got right here, you got stuff, side stuff that you could do. Like optional stuff that you could just do. Stuff like that. Let me go back. Same with this. Stuff that we haven't unlocked because we haven't really played that much. I just want to do this video to get you guys started and not get you, you know, give you a little push. And this is what the characters are at. This is what every character is at. If you press right here, I'm going to press Gojo. By the way, yes, I did get Gojo. I told you guys I was going to get... I mean, like I said, guys, they give you the option to get the character that you need. You know what I'm saying? So you can level up. When I hit level up, this is currently level 30. Meaning after that, we have to grade the character and use the light of training to straighten your characters. That's practically to ascend your characters, like awakening them, enhancing them. For example... We, we grade one. I'll show you guys right now. We click on it. When I hit grade one, hold up. It will tell you right here. There you go. This is what I was going to get to. So this is the uh, the ascending of the characters. And I will read it to you guys. Because I know, like I said, it could be confusing a little bit. I know it could be because this is Japanese stuff. So I understand. So what you what you're reading right now. I will read it to you because I had the screenshots of the translator. So you grade. This is your grade. Upgrade. Upgrade your grade. Meaning that grade 1, it goes all the way to level 30. Grade 2, it goes from 31 and beyond. So that's how that works. And you're going to need... You're going to need collect curse items in the curse item collectible to increase your level, cap, and various... Parameters. So you already know what you got to do when you hit level 30 you got to get these stuff and get Get it going and I will read this one to you to to get you side you get you side started Use the light of training to straighten your characters. That's the ones that you use to level up I'm gonna go with every character's skill so For example, this is for my Gojo the one I have the command skill details. I'll show you. It's currently in level 1. A deal 200% point zero of melee attack damage to attack to select the enemies. Level up information. Right here. It tells you increase. Increase the physical damage by 14.8 with each leveled increase. So that's. that. Let me go back right now. I'm just reading Goju skills right now. Breaking down the character. That will be this one. That I was just reading to you. We're going to go to the next one. The next one that he has. Is this one. The look. This one right here. Look, look. Cost 60. Deals 275.0 damage of range attack. To select the enemy. Level up information. Over time. You level up. You spell. Damage increases by 20 points. 20% 20.4% so that's pretty actually that's pretty good that's the second skill is called look look and then you got the third one right here we're gonna go right break it down to you guys bear with me because this stuff it, it's just it's in Japanese so this one is called is getting fun it's getting fun skill description is a uh, cost 61 increased damage deal Dealt to self by 75.0 three turns and then level up information increase damage deal effect by 5.6 percent which with each level increases so that's that's his third and this right here that would be like his door door main domain expansion right here let me that's the red one and i'll read it to you guys it's called special skill detail 
magic formula magic formula let me see my notes I can't even read this wow let's see magic increasing red yeah so what this does is the skill description is deal 500.0 range attack damage to all enemies level up information each level up increase spell damage by 58.3 wow special combo effect increase breaks damage 10 by 10.0 percent to self and opponents with link special attack two turns deal 100 percent range attack damage to all enemies so that's gojo right there the homie the homie the homie that's gojo and that's uh those are the rest of the characters i will keep reading the rest of the stuff to you guys so you guys you know you have a little a little something something of what's really going on so this is gojo right here i believe uh they all got different types so gojo will be gojo saturo attack Hmm, double attack so i don't know what type exactly is he so i gotta make sure of this man ssr strongest go use arturo double attack featuring list so i'm just reading to you guys what i see in my notes so every like i said guys i'm gonna i'm just gonna cover the basics because this is in japanese so we're not gonna dive into it like that we'll we'll, we'll, we'll you know we'll get you started with something you know what i'm saying get you ready you could level up every skill, by the way. And that will be... Okay, which is the one that I want to read to you guys? Let me see. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go back. Yeah, absolutely. Those were the characters. Now, let me go back. Now, we're going to go with their cards. Which is a little card that all these characters have. So, I will read it to you guys right here okay we're gonna go right here yep uh it's right here hold up let me look at my notes yeah there it there, there it is level up use remini scenes light and jp to straighten the parameter of remini scenes remains so you got now those will be the scenes that you add to the characters so in the in the next screenshot right here that I'm just looking at my notes, upper limit release, Reminis remains level cap increase. Furthermore, new skills will be unlocked. The skill content will be changed depending on the numbers of unlock, meaning the dupes. The more dupes that you get of these mini scenes, the better it's gonna be. And if you quit with the right character, even better. So we're gonna go to the other one. This is right here. This is. Yeah, I already read that one to you. Let me go to the next one. Okay, let me go back. And now you got the actual skill himself. So. So yeah, this is the actual. The actual mini scene, and it will tell you mine is level one. The HP is five point zero zero. The other the attack is 5.00 and you could level them up just like the other one with the requirement material. So it's not that complicated. The only problem I'm having is with the Japanese stuff. That's the only crazy thing. So we're going to go back to the home and show you guys some gameplay of this awesome game. And I hope you guys, you know, could get your pools ready. Uh, Get the characters that you guys really want and your boy is also going to play the global version i'm just going to show you some gameplay right here there it is currently right there this is my team and their mini scenes i'm just not going to work on these guys because they are you know so this is just for now this is just for now and i'm not really going to dive like i said into everything because you can't cover all of this but i did cover the basics it's an RPG game. The full team is consisted in, I believe, four or five of them. So, 
we're just getting started you know we're basically getting started the next video i will show you the reroll aspect of the game which is pretty cool so guys i hope you guys like you know like the video subscribe if you haven't let me know what you want to see in the next one but the next video i'm sure going to show you guys reroll because i'm pretty sure you guys want to grab your characters and grab the characters that you guys really want right, you guys are talking too much yeah let's get down to the business boy gotta say the animation is pretty cool man i just hope they don't drop the ball like they did with the other games you know all the mobile games that were very cool the cursed weapon nice 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 go yo why can't just we why can't we do just this yeah just want to get to the fight man show you guys the fighting we're about to fight there you have it that's their team and everybody's gonna get a turn i'm gonna start with goyo with this one press it again and you hit it and you could go you could go uh manual or auto whatever you want Ooh, nice. Okay, I think Gojo is gonna get one one shot at you, bro. Yeah, let's go. Weak. Oof, he's gone. <laughs> oh, here comes all oh, his two waves. Okay, it's four turns, so you already know. Uh oh. Goja's about to do his special move. Here we go. You guys are dead, man. Woo! Damn, everybody's gone, bro. <laughs> That's the power of Goyo, and that's the character I wanted it, man. One of the best characters in the game. Period. I don't care what anybody says. He's one of the best. I went re-rolling until I got him. That's what I did, and this is what you get. As you play along, guys, and we're gonna go back to the home. We're gonna go back to the home menu, and this is practically it. This is the player's level. This is the home screen. You can actually switch this. Let's see what we got yeah guys so it's it's very straightforward man like i said i will break it down into different parts of the game like team building like uh mini cars and what best mini cars work with the character and all that stuff going forward but i was just showing you the basics so you guys will have an idea on how this game looks so far and guys i hope you guys like it this is the team so you could have five people We've actually got four. You can have one more slot. And we will do some summons, but we're not going to do it now. So, guys, there you have it. I hope you guys like this mini guide to get you prepared for the global version of this game that's coming out next month, the 7th, to be exact. So, I hope you guys like the video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this video. If you guys are managing to play the game. I'm actually playing it on my mobile phone. I couldn't play it on Streamlab. I mean, on... Uh, blue stacks because i think i need a a japanese google account i don't have but i do have an apple japanese account which is why we did this and with another app so we could we were able to play the game and uh we're just gonna keep it bringing it bringing it to you guys so uh there you have it guys this was your boy reporting from the dojo with gojo pvps one